What's going on guys, John here from The Real Talk, back again with another Blu-ray haul. Uh, and this time it's going to be for the month of October. And uh, happy November 1st guys, uh, this month is kind of uh, very special uh, to me because not only my birthday's in it, Thanksgiving, we have Black Friday which is a holiday for me. <laughs> and uh, we also have Justice League and Thor Ragnarok releasing this month. Let me know which one of those are you most excited for and why. Uh, but this month uh, that passed, October, uh, I kind of did a lot of picking up of horror movies and stuff like that obviously because uh it was october i was trying to get it into that uh halloween vibe uh, and also like I, I just started collecting this uh year so a lot of these i didn't have obviously uh so we're gonna start off with a blu-ray pickup that uh i actually really enjoyed and i think it's a really cool concept and it's for a show actually and i don't normally do this um like, I don't, nor don't normally pick up TV shows unless I really, really like them. And obviously, that is Stranger Things. The whole uh, VHS vibe of it is, is, is awesome. I love it. Uh, you know, the little box looks like a tape. This shows, you know, back in the 80s when there was tapes and stuff like that. Uh, and it's just it's just awesome. It's just awesome to have my collection. Obviously, Season 2 just released, uh, like, a few weeks back. Actually, on the 27th, so like last week. <laughs> uh, but I'm planning to um, pick that up as well. Hopefully, it's another VHS. Uh, but all right, let's get started with the actual Blu-ray movies. Uh, and first off, we have here is The Witch. One of my favorite movies of that year. Again, A24 just knocks it out of the park. Uh, this movie was kind of, when I saw it, I was expecting another thing. Uh, like another movie, like a really horror movie. But this was actually a really good horror movie. Like if you really... You know get down to its core it was just an amazing film uh and i love that the w is kind of like two v's it's pretty cool and the little goat it's pretty cool too so <laughs> all right in the next uh movie it is Ma manchester by the sea one of my favorite movies of that year as well um yeah i was gonna say probably my favorite but i think moonlight came out in the same year as that and uh, as this and i think moonlight's my favorite movie so anyways but nonetheless Ka casey athlete won for best actor for his role phenomenal movie phenomenal performance as well uh and yeah manchester by the sea so happy i picked it up and also if you guys saw my halloween my top five halloween uh wait movies to watch on halloween you guys see you guys saw that this was on it i picked this one up as well halloween is a must-have uh if you um I was to say, well, yeah, if you're a film fan in general, I think this movie holds up as a film, not only as a uh, horror movie, but also another movie that holds up is The Exorcist, in my opinion. It scared the crap out of me. Uh, I found this at FYE for like five bucks. So I was like, you know what? Love this movie. It scared me to death. It's one I, th I think I should have in my collection. And another movie I actually haven't seen, but uh, I've really been wanting to watch it. And I think since now, like November, December is rolling around, that whole, you know, winter vibe and i think this movie has that from the little shots i've seen uh is the thing john carpenter's the thing uh, another movie by john carpenter halloween just mentioned um this this movie like i said it's gotten a lot of praise and um i can't wait to watch it uh what's his name is in kurt russell's in this and um yeah i was gonna get in, a little bit into uh, the hateful eight and this kurt russell quinter you know, but whatever uh, another halloween theme movie or a horror movie i should say overall and that was in my video as well the texas chainsaw massacre guys a classic one of my favorite movies horror, horror movies i should say leather face is so badass so i'm so happy i picked that up another one that I, um i really liked when i first saw it uh when i was younger obviously and uh, I, I kind of like it now. It's, it's cheesy, and, and you know, I obviously I I know it's bad, but uh, that's House of Wax. Um, I never seen the original. I know this is a remake, but uh, Paris Hilton, you know, <laughs> uh, another uh, movie that I have not seen uh, that I wanted to pick up and I wanted to see before Halloween, but didn't get to it is uh, Silence of the Lambs. The Silence of the Lambs, uh, obviously. It's 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 very iconic in the horror genre, and actually I think it's it won uh, some Academy Awards. Not sure which ones though, which I should know. But so glad I picked it up. Hopefully I can see it this month as well. Uh, this is one of my favorite movies. Uh, when I first saw it, I just really liked it. I loved the concept. Again, this is why I love things like It and Stranger Things. The whole school theme, whole group of kids and stuff like that going through something. And that is The Faculty. Um, this is back in the 90s. Um, it's just like, I don't know, for me it's like a throwback. And like I said, I really love this movie when it came out. And so glad I picked it up. 
I remember uh, showing it to a bunch of my friends, a bunch of my family members, and they're like kind of like whatever about it. But for me, like I really love it. It's like one of my guilty pleasures. Uh, and I think it actually was in my video that I did, uh, that me and Audrey did back then. Um, and I mentioned this as one of my guilty pleasures. We did a, a, a video going over that, our, our favorite guilty pleasure movies. And another movie that uh, I really love and, and actually came out of nowhere for me, just started getting all this buzz. And uh, I think it's an Australian film or, uh, I don't know, it's not a US film, but um, that is The Babadook. And I'm so glad I picked it up and I picked it up at my local FYE for 10 bucks. And this version of the, of the movie is really expensive because it has like this pop up art, which is really cool. Um, sorry about that guys but uh yeah the babadook is uh one of my favorite more recent horror movies interesting look at uh depression and stuff like that but like i said i love this version of it because it has like the little pop-up uh book from the movie uh so yeah the babadook picked it up and also uh freddy versus jason one of my favorite guilty pleasures as well uh growing up and you know i just it's come on freddy versus jason um and i recently watched it i know it's bad but you know it is what it is, but I, I'm so glad I finally picked it up on Blu-ray. I do have it on DVD. And another horror movie I really, actually, really like. I haven't seen the original, though, is The Hills Have Eyes. I've seen this one uh, this past month uh, to get me ready for Halloween and stuff like that. Uh, so, yeah, The Hills Have Eyes. Uh, and then we're going to get to uh, my favorite movie, actually, uh, of the year so far. And uh, that is A Ghost Story. And it's actually the first pickup I did this uh, October and uh yeah it's like i said my favorite movie of the year so far uh i'm so glad i finally came out on blu-ray to actually check it out again which i still have to do uh but yeah also uh you guys saw in my other video my halloween video is uh i got the saw the complete movie collection even though i only liked the first two the other ones like i said like some of them are all right you know but the other ones some other ones are like really terrible like eesh. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> um, I do have the digital download uh, code for these movies. So if you guys want them, comment down below and then I'll do a little giveaway. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll do a little video or just announce the winner or something. I'm not sure. But if you guys want it, uh, I do have it. I believe it's all seven movies. So you guys will get seven movies. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to, comment down below and I'll enter you guys for a chance to win. <laughs> uh, also, the only steel book I picked up this month and I honestly wasn't going to pick up this movie because of I, I honestly want to pick up phase three in its whole entirety and that is uh obviously phase three you guys know it from marvel and that is a spider-man homecoming i got the steelbook edition because i don't know normally i don't pick these up like i said but i don't know something about this edition the steelbook one like i really really dug and uh i like the wonder woman i couldn't really get into but this one's pretty cool uh it has vulture and spider-man in the back and then spider-man and iron man in the front uh, the, the movie inside, like the artwork is kind of like weird and actually the actual discs are like black suit Spider-Man. They're not like black suit Spider-Man, but it looks like it. So it's really cool. But, uh, yeah, my, uh, only Blu-ray, uh, Steelbook actually that I picked up in October. Uh, also moving on to one of my favorite comedies, uh, of all time actually is Swingers. Man, this movie is just so hilarious. It gets me all the time. Uh, this is one of the movies I can just put any time and I'll watch it. Like whenever I see it on TV, uh, I just sit down and watch it. But at Swingers, uh, John Favreau and Vince Vaughn at their prime, you know. But uh, yeah, it's just one of those movies that really uh, I really like gravitated to. Uh, another horror movie is Paranormal Activity, the first one. Uh, a lot of these movies, you know, obviously start off great, kind of, you know, deteriorate with the franchise as the franchise goes on. But this this one, I remember it coming out in theaters and actually voting for it to, to play in the theater uh, near me. I got like an email, hey, if you want this movie to play, vote on it. You know what I'm saying? And I send the link to all my friends. So I finally came out in my area. I checked it out. I have a fun little personal story with this movie. Uh, but I really, I really enjoyed it and uh, Paranormal Activity. And then this movie I got kind of recommended again from um, a podcast, the Top 10 Podcast with John Roca and Matt Nos. I think they were talking about, I don't know, the Top 10, I think, films with the uh, name in the title, like a, a state or something like that. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not really sure which episode was it, but they recommended Sierra with George Clooney, Matt Damon, and uh, Jeffrey Wright. Uh, I've heard really good things from them and also from other people, so I can't wait to check it out. Another horror movie, I'm so glad I picked it up. And it was interesting because I couldn't find it at Target, couldn't find it at Best Buy, Walmart, FYU, anywhere. Actually, yeah, 
uh, until I went to my local book off store uh, and I actually found it for like 12 bucks, which I was like, you know, that's kind of overpriced for this movie. But I was like, you know what? I can't find it anywhere else. And then Amazon was like 43 bucks. And I think because it's out of print, I'm not sure. But as that's The Ring, uh, one of these movies, horror movies that I really like, like got into when I first saw it. And it really scared me. I like the concept and stuff like that. So I like The Ring better than The Grudge. <laughs> uh, another one of my favorite movies, I'm glad I finally picked it up, is called The Forbidden Kingdom with Jackie Chan and Jet Li. I uh, have a very fond memory of watching this for the first time in theaters. Uh, and it's just, you know, two of my favorite uh, martial artists in one film. And that fight scene with them is really great. Uh, and just the story behind it and like, what these characters actually represent. There's actual, like, myth of the, uh, they have, like, actual, uh, like, mythology behind them and stuff like that. And it's pretty cool. But, yeah, finally I picked it up. So glad I did. And another one of my favorite movies is The Life of Pi uh, with Dave Patel. I don't, can't remember who directed I think Ang Lee directed this. Uh, yeah, come on, Life of Pi. How can you not have this? And I'm so glad I found the, it with the slipcover, uh, which I wanted to buy it like various times, but like once I saw it with, with the slipcover, I was like, you know what, I'll buy it. It was like six bucks. Uh, another one with the slipcover that I, um, I actually really enjoyed was uh, Mark Wahlberg's and Peter Berg's collaboration in The Lone Survivor. Um, great, fantastic film. I think it might be my favorite, but I haven't seen... Ah, damn. The, the the recent one where they're in, in the oil rig. Uh, I, I, for, I'm I forgetting its name. But yeah, Lone Survivor. Great movie. So glad I picked it up with the slipcover as well. And this movie I couldn't find anywhere for some reason until I went to my local uh, Fry's electronics store. And I found their really cheap Friday the 13th. It was also in my Halloween video. So you have not seen that one. Again, check it out. Uh, but yeah, the first one, the original one, 1980, I believe. Uh, and yeah, so glad I picked it up uh, since I picked up a lot of horror movies this month. And another one, this is one of my guilty pleasures, but I kind of wish I got the other cover, the uh, like alternative cover. I think, no, actually, you know what? I think this is alternative cover, uh, so I wish I got the original cover. Well, this is Broken Arrow. Uh, I believe it came out in the 90s. I remember watching this in theaters, actually. Actually, you know what? I think I just saw it at, like, uh, like at home, but I remember watching this for some reason over and over again. Uh, I don't know. I just grew up really loving it. Um, and then another one of the movies that came out last year or something. To be honest, I wasn't a, real, a, a really big fan of it. I did enjoy it a lot. And if I review it, I think I'll probably give it like an 8.5. But a lot of other people really enjoyed this movie and called it their favorite. Um, what was the director's name? I should know his, his name. He just did Blade Runner. Uh, Denis Villeneuve's film, and that's Arrival. Uh, don't get me wrong. Like I said, I really dug it. I, I, I'll probably give it an 8.5, but I just like, you know, Prisoners better and stuff like that. And I just, you know, I couldn't really get emotionally attached to it for some reason. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I'm glad I picked it up with the slipcover. And last but not least, I can't believe this is the last one. It's one of my favorite comedy movies of all time. I finally picked it up. There are so many times I wanted to pick it up in stores and Best Buy, and I finally did. That is Tropic Thunder, the director's cut. Man, when this movie came out, I saw it in theaters, and just, I don't know, everything about this movie, just the actors, the whole, like, world that they build, because it's kind of like in a world within our world and stuff like that. The short little trailers before the movie. Just everything about it. Robert Downey Jr.'s performance. He just kills it. And I quote the hell. Me and my cousin quote the hell out of this movie all the time. Uh, so yeah. I'm so glad I finally picked it up. I don't think there's a slipcover version for it. But uh, yeah. But uh, yeah guys. Let me know uh, what you guys thought about my pickups this month. Let me know what you guys decided to pick up this month. Or in the month of October. And uh, yeah, I missed Baby Driver and War for the Planet of the Apes. Those are the two big releases that I wish I've gotten. Uh, but, you know, I, I will hopefully for the Black Friday uh, sale this month. So this month should be uh, interesting. The next uh, Blu-ray haul I do should be interesting because of that Black Friday. Let's see what I pick up. So, all right, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below again what you guys saw about my pickups. What did you guys pick up? And uh, as always, if you guys want to follow me outside of YouTube, you guys can on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at The Real Talk. Talk with two Ks. And as always, I'll see you at the movies. Later, guys.